What's going on you guys? This is MaxKD. I have another Lenovo H520S V upgrades. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to move the two uh, screws in the back for the side cover panel using a Phillips screwdriver. And you're going to slide the side cover panel to the left. Now I'm going to start off from, uh, we're going to remove the front cover basil to do that. It's got a little clips right here, so take your finger like this gently, clips. And you're going to remove the, here's the optical drive caddy right here. To do that, there will be two screws, one to the left, one to the right. And this slides to the right, like this, comes out. And you're gonna do is we're gonna move the hard drive caddy here. To do that, there's gonna be another screw here in the corner. And this slides up straight up like this. Are you gonna disconnect the stadium power cable? And you're gonna go ahead and disconnect two screws on each side. And this slides out this and we'll be upgraded to solar state drive 2.5 inch and to do that you guys have to get the caddy right here it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch and you can use any solar state drive you want and this one will allow you to install one and two actually either solar state drive you can install or you can install 2.5 inch laptop hard drive in here like this show you guys all you have to do is just buy another SATA cable and Y splitter cable this sale. So what it will do is, uh, and this is only one for the power, it will split in two. It's Y splitter cable they sell online and this will allow you to do that. So I'm gonna connect, uh, connect the screws here for the solid state drive. Okay, let's see. Okay. Get the Phillips screwdriver. Now you're going to connect back the SATA and power. And we're gonna be upgrading guys the memory now to do that. Uh, we're gonna do it, go ahead and uh, to upgrade the memory, you have to remove the heat sink right here because otherwise it's blocking right here the corner. And you have to go ahead and use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the heat sink fan to upgrade the memory. 
because it's actually blocking. When you try to release it, remove it, it will block right here the corner. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the heatsink fan processor cooler. Okay, so now, and I'm gonna, because I'm gonna be installing the eight gigs dual channel match pair. DDR3 9CC for desktop. The memory guys I like is Carsec, Kingston, and Crucial. Those are the top three brands I like. And when you install the memory properly, you're gonna hear two clicks. If you guys are gonna remove the heatsink fan, you can reapply the thermal compound for the processor, but I'm not gonna do that. I already did that before. You're gonna screw back the heatsink fan for the processor. Install back the optical drive bay here, caddy. And you're gonna make sure you don't forget to install the screw back for the caddy for the hard drive. It's right there in the corner. I'm gonna go and put the front cover basil on. And be the last part is upgrading the video card. To do that, it's gonna move the little latch right here. It's hold by one screw for the PCI brackets. And you're gonna move the PCI, a low profile PCI bracket right here, the top one, the PCI Express Time 16 slot, that's where we're gonna install the video card. And the video card I'm gonna be using guys is uh, GeForce GT730. This is a low profile bracket with low profile. It's got an HDMI and DVI port. And the power supply in here is 180 watts, so that's good enough. You, the 180 watt power supply for the video card would be perfectly fine. And guys, this, the disassembly tear down, I'll be, I'll upload the video separately, so it'll be a different video. You guys can watch later. And I'm gonna switch to the other side. I'm gonna put the side cover panel back on. We're done. The screws back on here. And this is the one when you install the video car, how it's going to look like backside. See you guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.